Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about belt kits and why they are all the rage right now. It seems like every single company is coming out with their own different uh, LBE focused belt kit. And we're going to be talking about this one in particular, the DZ rig from Crossfire. So why have belt kits become so popular as of late? Well, in my opinion, it's because of the observations made in the conflicts that have been going on since the GWAT ended, more specifically the conflict between Ukraine and Russia, because that is like a near peer conflict that we haven't seen before uh, most of us in our lifetime and not saying that there's not intense conflict going on between Palestine and Israel but that is more of like what we would have seen in the GWAT counterinsurgency stuff due to this near peer conflict going on in Ukraine right now uh, the kit choices of a lot of the people fighting over there is vastly different than what we might have seen during the GWAT what this means is since it's a near peer conflict what you can get away with in you know like a counterinsurgency operation you wouldn't be able to get away with in a near peer conflict with you know anti air capability so the soldiers on the ground are much more reliant on what they can carry on their back as a result you're seeing a lot more heavy belt kits being worn a lot more LBE which really fell largely out of favor during the GWAT for stuff like this like more you know traditional gunfire belts and you're seeing um, a true like return to form when it comes to LBE and big belt kits like you see right here. Before we get into it any further today guys I just want to mention that today's video is sponsored by Venture Surplus. It's where I picked up this sweet Sumptarn camo hoodie. Uh, Sumptarn is a German uh, World War II camo but it's also very warm especially when it's very cold like you see right here or these snow flurries but this is keeping me nice and cozy if you want to pick one up for yourself as well as any other type of excellent surplus go check it out over at venture surplus and they also have a discount code for you guys if you use code bjod10 it'll get you 10 percent off your order there so pick yourself up some excellent surplus now let's get back in this video so before we get into this rig right here let's go over a couple different types of belt kits at the bare minimum you can classify this as a belt kit what the belt that you see like holding up my pants right here this is just an uh, segura gear emissary belt this is the belt that i wear on a daily basis for my concealed carry and i've also seen these belts being used to carry pouches as well and being used in more like a gunfighter belt role so at the bare minimum you could classify this as belt kit if you know depending on what situation you're in stepping up from the edc style belt you have your gunfighter style belt this is another segura gear product this is their battle wagon and these were very popular during the GWAT because these are really focused for like a direct action raid mission uh, they're not really meant for like large load bearing you know capability you'd probably want to scale up past this if you're looking to carry more stuff on this belt like you know water and that kind of thing but these things were very popular not this belt in particular uh, the popular belt back in the day was the Ronin belt but this is the belt that I rock nowadays and it fills the same type of role as you can see on this belt I have a couple mags on here a dump pouch a pistol some people like to carry you know medical in the back of here I don't have anything back here right now you can also carry grenades and stuff like that if your mission dictated that you have those but uh, these belts are cool and this is like what I typically train with whenever I go to the range stepping up from the gunfighter belt you have what you see here this is what many would consider to be like the typical battle belt this one in particular is from a uh, high speed gear they make excellent battle belts I actually wore this thing at the last Milsom West event I went to where it was a more armored loadout and I wore this underneath uh, a plate carrier and this allowed me to carry a lot more sustainment stuff without having everything on my plate carrier and it actually worked out very well because whenever I put large pouches like this on the sides of my plate carrier it makes wearing a ruck in conjunction with it kind of a pain in the ass and putting a little bit of this stuff on my belt really helped me out and whenever I had my plate carrier off I still had this on me which still had a couple magazines here on the side dump pouch multi-tool my water which is what I carried inside here Red Baron and then on the side here I also had a couple uh, grenade pouches right here and this really uh, helped me out carry a lot more equipment on me versus carrying everything up on my plate carrier and really freed up a lot of space for me to actually wear a pack with it now this is stepping towards the direction of being more like LBE but this is not what really people consider when they think of like dedicated belt kit and versus what we have going on right here this is the DZ rig from Crossfire if you heard the name Crossfire before it's because I rock their packs all the time so 
especially going out to Milsom West, I use their DG16, I think is what it's called. Um, it's a huge rucksack that I've been using as of late, which has taken the place of my Alice pack. I still love the Alice pack, but I really love the Crossfire packs. I also have a smaller pack. They're slick as well. But this thing is awesome. I really wasn't expecting uh, Crossfire to come out with a belt kit. They hit me up about it and they sent me one. And I'll be honest, guys, I have fallen in love with this belt kit. It really reminds me a lot of the Smirsh. Um, the Smirsh rig being the Russian uh, belt kit that you've been seeing me wear uh, quite a few times on the channel. I love that belt kit. But uh, this thing really fits a lot of the vibes of the Smirsh and has everything I love about the Smirsh and a bit more and i think that this thing is superior to the smirch in a couple different ways which we'll get into here shortly so as you can see in the intro to this video i've been wearing this belt kit over armor uh, the reason i've been doing this is because i wanted an armor loadout that was more sustainment focused and wearing a belt kit over your slick play carrier like you've been seeing me do right here is actually a pretty good setup. I like it a lot and you actually see a lot of guys, you know, currently fighting in the current conflict in Ukraine doing a similar setup here. It's very similar to, you know, the you know, wearing a chest rig over your slick plate carrier. I actually find this to be even more comfortable since a lot of the weight is on your hips. Now for this particular loadout, I am rocking a full combat loads plus of 762 by 39. The reason for it is because I just wanted to shoot my AK today, but also to demonstrate the wide variety of mags that these mag pouches on the side here can fit in there. As you can see on here, I have two mag uh, 762 by 39 mags per pouch. They do close on the Velcro right here, but you can't use the tuck tab. So kind of cool thing about these pouches here is if you were using a smaller mag, like a 545 mag or like a AR-15 magazine, you can actually use the Velcro and these tuck tabs right here and it makes it extra secure. You can also fold in the Velcro. There's like a tab right here. I have it tucked under there so it's on the Velcro part. But if you wanted to make the pouch more silent and being able to access this thing without making noise at all from that Velcro rip, you can just use the tuck tabs that you see right here. And if you have a different type of magazine, as you can see on here, I have this thing cinched down just for a 7.62x39 mag. But if you had a smaller magazine like a 545 mag or an AR-15 magazine, you can cinch using these bungee cords on the side here to make it tighter or looser. Nice. So as you can see here with the 2762 by 39 mags, I have the bungee cords cinched tight around them. And then I can use this flap right here in conjunction with a Velcro and I can close these pouches perfectly fine, even if I can't use the tuck tabs. Again, if you want to use those tuck tabs, you have to use a little bit of a smaller magazine. 762 by 39 mags are pretty large. So that is kind of like typical when it comes to a lot of magazine pouches. They're kind of a bitch with 762 by 39 mags. Another thing about these magazine pouches is that these are actually mollied on there. So if you wanted to swap these out for a different type of pouch, maybe you're running a machine gun and wanted to run like saw pouches right here, you could take these magazine pouches off and put those pouches on there perfectly fine. Unlike the other pouches on here, these three um, kind of GP pouches, these are actually sewed onto the rig, which we'll get into here shortly. Going into these GP pouches right here, I think that these things are awesome. When I originally got this rig, I didn't know actually how big they could get. And this is where I have a lot of stuff like my water and this pouch right here. I'm using the tuck tab in conjunction with a Velcro. As you can see, I have a canteen in this pouch. In this pouch right here, I have a couple of snacks. I got a couple of protein bars. And since it's you know getting a little bit colder out, I have a little bit of snivel gear. I really like this jacket right here. This is from Corinthia. It's kind of like a wooby type of jacket. Even though it's not just like a cut up wooby into a hoodie, it's actually got a couple more features on here, like these armpits right here, which are vented. And I really like this thing. It really compresses small. Um, I got this thing from the guys over at Corinthia when I, when I was in Finland. They're great guys. I also have one of their sleeping bags, but I like this thing because I could just shove it right here in this little uh, GP pouch on the back of my kit. If, it, if we're going like from day into night and it gets a bit colder at nighttime, it's nice to have a little bit of snivel gear, especially if you're in a static position, maybe you're like on an ambush line or something like that. Going into this GP pouch right here, it's the same size as these other ones. As you can see, I could fit things 
like a Nalgene bottle in there, perfectly fine. Another canteen, depending, maybe it's like a hotter month, may, might wanna carry a little bit extra water on me. Another cool thing that you can carry in here is your nods. If you're going from day into night or night into day, you don't wanna have to be you know, the douchebag running day nods all day. You wanna be able to store those things and being able to put them in a pouch like this is pretty helpful. Going to these last two magazine pouches right here, I'm actually using one of them for my medical with this red tab right here. I have another uh, knife pack in here as well as another tourniquet. And in this pouch right here, I have two more 762 by 39 mags. So in total on the belt kit itself, I have six 762 by 39 mags, medical, water, snivel gear, snacks, and if I wanted to, extra water or you know whatever else I might need. Another thing I love about this belt kit is the actual harness that you see here. It runs really well over armor, and I like this kind of drag handle that it has on the top of here, which is pretty cool. And they are gonna be coming out with a thinner one. The initial run is coming out with their standard kind of more padded harness here. It really runs well over a plate carrier, but I could see myself wearing the thinner one underneath of it. That way, when I take my plate carrier off, I still have my belt kit on me. Overall, guys, I love this setup. I was never really a belt kit guy in the past, but you know, I'm kind of on my uh, belt arc right now, and I can really see how this type of setup would be very helpful in a situation where we really have to sustain yourself. And on this rig right here, I have like 10 762 by 39 mags. Maybe it's overkill, but if I'm fighting it out in the trenches for days and days and days, more ammunition is better. And there's, I, in my opinion, there's no better way to do that than kind of spreading around your body. You know, as you can see, even if I took this belt kit off, I still have my plate carrier on with three mags on it. Even though the plate carrier by itself wouldn't, wouldn't do well in that type of environment in conjunction with the rest of your LBE can be pretty good. I'm planning on bringing this belt kit with me to Spain. I'm actually traveling to Spain tomorrow for our first ever European Milsim West event. I gotta go to Europe and spread the, the gospel of Milsim West. And I'm gonna be wearing this belt kit out there, uh, not with all this other stuff I'm gonna be on Rust for, so I'm gonna be using it in conjunction with the other kind of Russian kit. Even though this would be, you know, this is not technically kosher for any type of Russian impression. I'm gonna go with the more militia route, wear this thing, I think it will work really well. I'm gonna also be comparing it to my buddy, uh, Sean Prozen. He usually runs the uh, old Smursh rig. And I think while we're out there, I'll kind of compare and contrast the two rigs together. But overall, I think that this setup is uh, pretty solid. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's another belt kit out there that you want to see me try out, please let me know down in the comments. I'm always interested in trying out new gear and you know, maybe uh, something better than this. But as far as I could tell, this thing has been like what I've been looking for as far as belt kit goes. I said in a previous video that I was looking for a more modernized belt kit over an Alice rig, which I was wearing. And I believe that I have found it. And I think, you know, wearing this in conjunction with a plate carrier, standalone, or maybe in conjunction with a chest rig as well, could be pretty solid. And if you want to check one of these out, go check it out over at Crossfire. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram at Blue Jean Operator or go to my website, thebluejeanoperator.com to find school shirts and merch, which helps out the channel. Also guys, if you wanna support the channel a little bit more directly, I have Patreon, helps me buy guns, gear, ammo, all the kind of stuff that goes in running a gun channel, and it'll get you access to videos a little bit earlier than everyone else. But hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.